Hey, I'm Sebugo Dennis with another tutorial on Arena. So for those of you who have subscribed, thank you for subscribing. Please share, like and comment and don't forget to hit the bell button so that you get a notification whenever I make a new tutorial. So today we are going to be making a DVD jacket in Adobe Photoshop. So this is it and we are going to repeat it. So, first of all, you open up a new page. You go to file at the index 27.5 by 18.3. The resolution leave it to 300. Then you open up. So, this is it. So, what we do, we must make a spine. Press Ctrl R to bring up the ruler tool. So press Ctrl R to bring out the ruler tool. Right click on the ruler, then change to centimeters. Change to centimeters. So here are the centimeters. We used 27 by 18.3. So what we do, the spine here is always, uh, let's say, is always around 2.5 centimeters so when you drag a ruler down here you will see the measurements one point so let's make 1.5 as the spine when you drag to that side come here create a new layer then come and select any color you want and then control backspace to fill your selection then to bring it in the center Press Ctrl A for selection, for selecting the page while selecting the layer you want to align. Then come to the Align Tools, place this and this so that it's well centered. So after that, use the ruler tool to bring the guidelines, to bring this guideline so that even if you remove the spine you have did, you remain with your spine. So when you check here, we used this color, but you can copy, but you can copy the color code. So to copy the color code of anything, what you do, you can come here, copy the color. So you copy this color code come to this side come to our page it's already here so when we select the full page while you're selecting the page you press control backspace we will get the same color so we are going to do this like kind of mock-up or brush kind of brush design so you come here you open up a new layer come to the brush tool then you choose a sharp brush let's choose this then you, you use any color you feel like it does not matter you can change it at any time so to to enlarge the brush stroke place right bracket to take it back place left bracket so let's use that size take one stroke then we can reduce uh, enlarge the brush take another stroke then we can reduce it take another stroke take another stroke So after you come here, you mask it. When you mask, here the colors change to black, then here to white. So I'm using, uh, you select the mask layer, it is white. So when I shade into our design, nothing happens. But when I change, when I swipe, when I shade into our design, we get white. So when it is 
black it erases So you can come here, put in some more design you feel like or you feel artistic. You can even go back here, you can go back to the brushes, to the brushes here and get other brushes. What it will do, so yeah, this one will do it better. So you can use this brush to make some more adjustment our design that kind of adjustment so that it's more artistic so let's say that's our design bring it onto the top layer now bring it into this page we reduce its opacity so that it can fit well into the design but here we see the edge is the head will be cut off so what we do we can right click here we change our design to smart object then we right click we oh sorry then we select the layer we come to this boundary we left click on it so that it brings this kind of x after we right click on it then flip vertical so that it goes in like this then we try to fit in our image well i think this is a bit better then we can take our opacity back to a hundred then right click create clip mask so we have created our mask we can come to this layer then we give it a shadow give it a shadow let's reduce the opacity of our shadow and also reduce its size and distance plus the spread let's plus the spread less okay so you have been able to design our photo like this so that's it we can also take the name and we also put it on the spine and put it on the spine so to duplicate the name place control place the name then control j on your keyboard control j on your keyboard then drag it to the desired place which by now is the spine so uh, left select on this on these controls then you will see that it will come bolder after right click and uh, rotate it by 90 clockwise degrees clockwise so it will turn to that then move it to here then also select our date ctrl j duplicate it move it here right click left click then after right click clockwise and bring in more details so this is the back side we try to align it the title we give words uh, then you can select this photo then after right click convert to smart object as usual ctrl j then duplicate it to the back and make it and make it smaller duplicate to the back and make it smaller and another thing i did is putting it in the background as a watermark for pasting so remember here the opacity is 100 percent so you can increase its size to that then after send it to back 
can move it one by one so that you move it up to back or you can press control then left bracket so that it goes on one by one layer so when it reaches the background you place you, you reduce its opacity to the desired opacity you feel like i think that's okay to me i think that's okay to me i think to me that's okay so guys thank you for watching this tutorial if you have any comment please comment share like and subscribe